I'll start with that point. Your thoughts on the volumes we're seeing in the market these days. Um, this week in particular has been pretty soft, 1.3 billion, 1.2 billion. What do you think is going on and what's responsible for this? Well, with what's going on, so two, two ways to look at it. One, you can look at uh, foreign investors are basically rebalancing their portfolios. Uh, they have a limit uh, as far as uh, overseas investments that they have to make. Right. And so with the end of year coming, they're doing their end of year reporting, they have to scale back pretty much on their overseas investment. So, so they're, they're coming down. Um, with local investors, you know, disposable income has come down for a lot of them. Again, due to the end of year, uh, we've, Christmas shopping is, is, is happening. So they're as well scaling back as well. And yes, it's been pretty weak. It's, uh, total volume traded uh, value rather, about, about 8 billion worth. Last week it was 10. The week before that it was about 11. Three weeks ago it was about 14. So it has been trending Rashley. downwards. Trending lower. Trending down. So, yeah, so that's mainly, uh, th those are two main causes I would So I would your thoughts on the foreign investors, do you think we'll see a pickup early next year? Or do you th and maybe even before the end of the year, do you think it's likely to stay this way? Well, yeah, we do. We do. Our outlook is that it will actually trend this way all through Christmas and, and, and after that. But, yes, uh, going into the uh, first quarter of next year, uh, we do see that picking up. Historically, the fourth quarter has, of course, uh, been lower than the first three quarters, you know, the last, last few years. So this is something that is kind of expected. Uh, but yes, following into spring of next year, we do expect that to pick up. All right, so most of the year-to-date gains have been eroded over the last few weeks. Um, That's correct. I think we're about 26, 27% year-to-date now. That's correct. Do you think we could close lower than this, given this trend that you're seeing? Uh, it, is, it is possible, yes. Uh, I, it, it is possible that we could actually trend lower. Uh, again, Historicals, it, it, but it perhaps just, marginally, or do you think significantly? No, no, it's not going to be significant. No, it's it's it's, it's going to be marginal. It's All right, let's move marginal. on to a news flow in the market today. Snapback IBTC listing the holding company after the changes we've seen right. to the company structure. We've we're seen we're we we're, we're seen this in Snapback, but we're expecting this for the likes of First Bank, UBA. That is correct. I, I think it's important to note the significance of this. Any any. I, I doubt there's any impact on the investment case for any of these companies listed. Right. It's good news. Brings more attention to the market and it should, we, we hope that it would, it would spur more trades. But yes, as you've mentioned, um, it's already been priced in. Uh, investors have already kind of anticipated this. As you've mentioned, it's also it's already happened with a few other banks. I think we expect perhaps some other banks will actually join Stambik in doing this as well. But yes, it, we don't expect it to have much of an effect uh, on the market. It's, it's, it's already pretty much been expected. All choice. right. So in this context, you, you've talked about the fact that the market may um, fall down back a bit, little bit over the next few weeks. Correct. How do we invest in this market? Where, 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 which sectors do you like? Which companies do you like? Well, um, we like uh, consumer goods and uh, in industrial materials. You mentioned uh, flour mills at the top of your program and how they've been propping up the market. They, companies like that, they're generating their own power. They're able to be self-sustainable. I know with flour mills, I believe there's a takeover that's uh, gonna be taken, that's gonna happen. Uh, they've just got some permission to, to complete that. I think it's a back of cement or so. Right. So that's something, that, that's the kind of catalyst that's needed in the market to, to, to spur some trades. So we like them. Uh, with industrial materials, of course, it's Dangote. Uh, you know, they're all, both, with the consumer goods and with industrial materials, we're seeing expansions going on with both uh, with both those companies. So those would be two sectors that we particularly like. And then of course, with the top trades uh, for the week, it's been in the financial sector. So so you like the banks? The banks, of course, as usual, they always feature. Uh, pretty, they've always been featuring, you know, pretty much for the for the latter half of the year. Well, in that context, which do you like the more, the tier one banks or the tier two banks, the big ones, the small ones? Which ones attract you the more right now? But tier one. It would be the, it would be the tier one banks, but of course tier one to two banks are also showing some promise as well. Uh, you know, not, not much has happened as far as with the uh, MPC and uh, credit uh, ratios. Uh, they haven't been required. You know, with the changes that have uh, that have happened over the last few weeks, they haven't been affected much. So we actually expect you know them to do pretty okay. But I do like tier one. I mean, you invest um, across fixed income and equities. And we're seeing a trend, especially with the um, bonds, and right. we've seen that fall back a bit. The latest issue, we saw 12% for the 7 and 10 years, so significantly lower than a month ago. Right. This, the easing we're seeing in, in terms of yields um, in the fixed income market, could this, for any, uh, in your view, prop up the equity space at all? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, investors are pretty much... They're swapping between the two. So if, if, if uh, yields in fixed term is going down, that means the investors are actually moving uh, towards equities, which is why, again, my point that we're not going to see that much uh, of a drop as far as the, the index is concerned towards the end of the year. They are moving over because there are some sectors that do look attractive, uh, attractive to investors.